During the dry season in the Zambian village of Kashushu, a strange ceremony sometimes takes place. It's called the Mukanda, when boys dream of becoming men and masked spirits make their appearance. It all starts when the Luvales boys, who live in the village of Kashushu, decide the time has come for them to become men. They request an initiation, playing a sort of game. They pretend to insult their elders, who in turn act as if they're angry with the children. And thus begins the initiation which lasts four months. The 18 initiates are separated from their families. They are hidden in a shelter of branches and leaves known as the Mukanda. One month later, they emerge from the Mukanda, where the elders teach them the traditions of their people. Suddenly, Katatola appears. Katatola is a makishi. Makishi are spirits of the ancestors. They rise from their resting places in the cemeteries just for the Mukanda, so they can guide and accompany the initiation of a new generation of boys. They push away the mothers who pretend they want to take their boys back. The Makishi push the mothers aside. This way, the boys can reach the river where the elders wash them. <laughs> this first bath marks the end of the first major step in the initiation. From now on, the initiates can come and go from the Mukanda. They have a little more freedom. In the Luvales society, only women have the right to fish using nets. The men use fishing poles. The Luvales are also hunters. Even if the prey is only the size of a rat, they never forget that hunting is essential to their survival. <laughs> the apprenticeship of the initiates continues. Out in the bush, they gather the materials they need to make the Makishi costumes and masks. They can use this bark, for example, to create skirts. <laughs> Sibinda, one of the initiates, draws an imposing mark in the sand. This is certainly the mask he'll make in the Mukanda shelter. But he will not reveal its name, because everything that's made in the Mukanda must remain secret. <coughs> Today, the Makishi burst into the village once again. The Luvalas are partly afraid, partly amused whenever they appear. Some Makishi are ferocious and aggressive, while others are funny and gentle. The makishi are covered from head to toe. They must not reveal the tiniest patch of skin because they are spirits, not men. Maria Shabinda is 73, the oldest woman in the village. As the elder, she plays a special role in the Mukanda. She takes care of the initiates as the surrogate mother. She is also a friend of the makishi. She alone has the right to touch them and play with them. The ceremony marking the end of the initiation is about to begin. At 4 a.m., just before sunrise, the Mukanda is burned down. And suddenly, Mupala appears. Armed with a sword symbolizing his power, he is both a prince and a hunter. He is the most feared of all the Makishi. He embodies the earliest ancestors of the Luvalis. Suddenly, the initiates appear, each wearing a costume they made themselves. The dances they learn during their retreat are strangely similar to those of the Makishi. The initiates return one last time, perched on the shoulders of the men. They are dressed in Western clothes, which were very expensive for their parents. We are now adults. Our big brother can no longer treat us like before even if he is older than we are. The Luvalas are happy. Their sons have become men by perpetuating the tradition of the Mukanda.